The following video contains strong sexual content and is rated M for mature audiences only. Viewer discretion is advised. Happy weekend, brunchers. I'm Bailey Minogue. And I'm Tommy V. And this is Too, Too Much, Much for Brunch. Brunch. First off, I'm going to be using some language on this video that I think will be inappropriate for some viewers. So, uh, mother, don't watch this. Hide your kids, hide your wife, hide your husbands. I'm going to give you a couple seconds. i fix my hair. Then we're going to get into it. Edit. So what I wanted to talk about in this video was sexual oppression, sex positivity, was at a high a few years ago, and now it's not anymore. I mean, I don't get so much shame because I think it would be a moot point, but other people, <laughs> other people do. So right now we have the Rent Boy raid uh, on all of the news outlets. CEO and seven members getting arrested. I agree with what you said. Let them do what they want. If they want to sell sex online, let them fucking I mean, do it. If you want to sell your coochie, it's nobody's business except you and who else is buying it's it. It's hot out here for a pit, it, man. The site has been around for almost 20 years. So it's not news to anyone, it's not surprising, and it's not the only site of its kind. People's other coochies are on Craigslist, there's Backpage, there's Ashley Madison. Adam for Adam, Adam dude's for Adam, nude. Dude's nude. Like this is not anything surprising. How about we do it on Facebook too? So they, they pick the most profitable site and try to shut it down, and they're already saying they want like $2 million for them right off the bat. If they get that money, then the government agencies involved in the arrests get to split the money up however they want. It's not fair to use a minority group as a scapegoat. This is not about prostitution. This is not about sex. This is about that the economy's in the shitter and we all need money. Yeah. And, you know, Americans have this thing where they want to be like the police of vice and virtue. So they just throw Christianity around and they throw these morals around that no one gives a fuck about. Because if they gave a fuck about prostitution, it means that actually Madison couldn't exist. You were so worried about what single people are doing and what people are spending their money that you're not even worried about this whole entire site that is only married people. Fucking each other. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Edit. Speaking of selling sex, there's this whole issue with Demi Lovato's new music video for Cool for the Summer. Now I know you're up in arms about this. Well, I wholeheartedly and sincerely love Demi Lovato. She's appropriating a culture that she does not identify with. Exactly. And I, I'm not a huge fan of Demi Lovato, but Cool for the Summer, I really do like though. Like I like the way it sounds and I love how confident she is in the video. She so looks I'm here so for that. She looks fucking fantastic. My problem with the song, and not the video, my problem with the song is that, like many women have done before them, like when Madonna and Britney had the big kiss, or Christina too. Yeah, Christina uh, the three-way too. kiss. They had the big kiss, or like when Rihanna and Shakira made their really dikey video for Can't Remember to For... Can't I remember can't to forget you. Forgettable. I love, it. I love <laughs> that song. I'm not Shakira fan. Love she that like she's song. Singing with a dick in her throat. <laughs> Best singer with a dick in her throat that I've ever heard. But. I know. I know. Female pop stars can put on a lesbian air, and they use lesbianism as a marketing tool. But now, that's 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 I have to agree with you. However. At least not 100% of the decision. Number two, she's never disclosed her sexuality, so I don't think that it's entirely fair to like say. If Demi Lovato is a lesbian, then so the fuck am I. Katy Perry has done it with Kiss a Girl when I liked it, and Rihanna did it with Tiamo when she was rolling around. Are you sex shaming a little bit? I, okay, no, I'm not. Because it's not, <laughs> it's not about the sex. I could give a fuck who these women are fucking. I don't even like women. I don't care what they're doing. Particularly Rihanna. I would love it if Rihanna was LGBT. It would honestly make my Rihanna for president. <laughs> Edit. Even in our own community, there's so much stigma just between each other. There's a lot of people being at each other's throats. Yeah. I was a bartender, and I was well aware of the fact that in order to make money, I needed to sell sex. I needed to embody sex. I needed to be what everybody wanted. While we don't have it all over the television, like explicitly, sex is what people want and that's what's going to make money. So I think the moral of the story here is that we shouldn't be sex shaming, even if they want to make some money. No, I think, I think if it's just to make money, we should be. That yeah. is where we differ. 
you shouldn't just get to be something because you want to and it's profitable. Let me let me when, ask you when other people are dying because of it. Well, That's let me ask problem. you a question. Do you think that there is a possibility that there are straight men on Rentboy.com who are only on there to make money? Yes, but they're gay. <laughs> but, they, but they suck dick, like. <laughs> That is where I have the problem. The stigmatization has to stop on all levels. I take for instance, I have a friend who shall remain nameless and he is cute and petite, for lack of a better word, but he has a really nice butt. And when anyone ever compliments him on his ass, he gets like angry. He's like, I'm a top, blah, blah, blah. It's really like corny thing. It's like, no one said you were a bottom, but even if you were a bottom, what's wrong with that? What's wrong with being submissive? Like, What's anything about submission? There are plenty of power bottoms out here doing their things. Shout out to Nicholas Knowles. <laughs> I, I just wanted to say that you can do whatever you want. There's this culture of like shaming people for what they do in bed. And I'm going to keep this just with gay people because I don't really care what shame people are doing with their vaginas. I, you know, get your life, fool. But I don't think about it too much. But <laughs> I'm just saying in the gay community, I personally, I like to eat ass. And that is a little Preach. taboo. I love it. I love me it. Me too. I, it is, I, don't even it, I don't need it done to me too much, <laughs> like, but I like to do it. Whether I'm topping or bottoming, I just like the way asses look and feel. But I've heard lots of crazy things. People say crazy shit about that. I had a guy who I had no interest in making out with be like, oh, I can't kiss you because I heard you eat ass. And I was like, well, I do. And you don't. Like, you suck dick. The same thing, really. Yeah. We'll Please. put an ass in our mouth and a dick in our mouth, but we won't put like a bruised part of the banana in our mouth. Like, come on. Yeah. I actually had a status update a few weeks ago and I was like talking to someone who didn't drink tap water. And I was like, but you suck dick. You suck dick and you don't drink tap water. Like, I don't have time for you. Like, you don't make any sense to me. Edit. You know, like, sex? Oh, About how I used to sell my underwear online because people liked the smell of my ass. I think that's a good story. I actually made really good money off that. And this was before Orange is the New Black, I might add. This was, <laughs> this was some time ago. Like, I was selling my sweaty used underwear is put in a Ziploc bag so it would preserve the scent. And I was getting 50 bucks a pair. So... Let's get your coins, bro. Yeah, exactly. Like, <laughs> I would tell people that and they would laugh. They'd be like, I can't believe you do that. Aren't you gross out? I was like, no, mm -hmm. to each their own. I don't sniff sweaty underwear. I don't use that to get my rocks off. I have other means. I have my man sit on my face while I jerk his dick off and that does it for me. Like, that's all I need. I just don't see why people will shame somebody else for what they're doing when they're at home doing the same damn thing. Like, it just makes absolutely no, no sense. I, I think rooming is pretty much like the, the extent of my kinkiness. One of my very, very good friends into fisting, and I mean, I would never, but if you like it, I love it. Do it twice. I don't know, like, whatever you gotta do. I had somebody tell me it was like, putting your hand in a plastic bag and putting it underwater. Like, that's what it feels like. And is that, that's like hot, though? I guess. I mean, even, I've never done I, it. I, I, there were rumors going around that apparently I like it when it's not true at all. I can take a good dick, not a fist. It just seems so, maybe because I have such big hands, it's just a thought. <laughs> if anybody can take my enormous fucking hands in their ass, like, I don't want to have sex with them. So that's our show, Brunchers. Being sex positive and not just okay, it's common sense. Sex positivity equates acceptance. We should all be able to accept each other's kinks, even if we don't get off the same way. So when you're done with us, get off here and go get off somewhere else. Join the conversation here on the video. You can also follow me on Twitter at Too Much for Brunch. That's Too Much, the number four brunch. Or you can follow me, Tommy V, at It's Me Tommy V on Twitter. Thank you for watching, and be sure to come next week when we have a very special midweek brunch. After the MTV Video Music Awards, I have a very special video planned, so come back and get your brunch in the middle of the week.